So our STEP program focuses on pressing issues at the intersection of science and technology with society and nature. And so we're looking at society and the environment. So we're looking at the intersection between science, technology, society and the environment. And at that intersection, we're finding some of our most pressing problems or challenges, which we're also calling the grand challenges. And these would be examples would be, how are we looking at infrastructure for future cities, both in the US and worldwide? Because we know that about 60% of the cities of the future haven't yet been built. So we have a huge opportunity to engage students in some of the most cutting edge research. We're actually gonna have a very exciting interdisciplinary thinking class. You know, how do you think interdisciplinary? How do you design your thoughts and how do you work in practice in interdisciplinary teams? And this is, I'm very excited about this class. This is the first year that we're offering this class. It's built upon a lot of our experiences as faculty in several NSF grants that are very, very interdisciplinary across five or six disciplines. And I mentioned these, you know, we have public affairs, public health, engineering, natural and physical sciences, urban planning. And we all speak slightly different languages, but we're after the same goal. And you can broadly say it's the common good. And so most places would say, yeah, you know, let's do interdisciplinary, but there's also a how-to. And so I would encourage our forthcoming students to really engage in that class, come there, with this feeling that, you know, how do I come here with an open mind and get the most, it's a, it's a small, in fact, it'll be offered over a week. And so it's an intensive preparation for them to launch into interdisciplinary work. We have a very exciting curriculum and I think plugging in additional classes uh, along with the step area curriculum is great and we've organized some resources so they can say if their interest is in water policy how could they do the step curriculum but also go across university and pick up courses attend seminars speak to faculty who are re you know leading the work in those areas so that would be the fourth thing we have an anchor and a structured anchor and they could build the web but they would have to build the web we can give them the backbone so they would put the flesh on the backbone.